Still got this damn frog in my throat. This hasn't been a bad game so far in terms of a journey. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. So we did a little bit of grinding, but let me go ahead and see if uh, we can put any. No, can't. We evolve if we uh master that board, it will give us the uh. I got the bro I got Brody mastered, so he got like an extra skill. Chaz got some points in. Oh, interesting. I didn't know I even got that. I forgot I had that. <laughs> what a final acidity. Oh, is that how you feel about all Final Fantasy games? Well, come on in, Thunderfoot Bros. Breaking that chat in. Playing with you, just playing with your ass emotes. So, what? That was like a male version of that. Uh, so, you can get the hot, you can get the female version of Ifrit. That's cool. Anybody else? I think that's it. Okay. So, I am curious. And then we'll get on with the main story here. Ah, it turned into a large version. Gotcha. Alright. Shocked that you got here this early. And it's not a Mega Man game. Other than this, the last of this flu trying to get out of my system. I feeling good. I feeling good in the neighborhood. Feeling good. We're gonna beat this damn thing finally. So exceed edge can don't have to go. By the way, you didn't huh? really beat the game. Where is the QB? Were you only able to acquire its souls? Huh? <coughs> oh. <coughs> Did we botch up the job? Hmm. It's a little unorthodox, but this could work. What do you mean? Since you brought two, we'll use one to spin a new thread and give Tama the other so that she'll have a life to spare when the time comes. 
Cool. Whatever that means, let's do it. Let's do it, okay. man. I'll do my best to keep the changes to a minimum. You don't have to stay here and watch. Um, are you sure? It's a lot to explain. Not to mention the long ritual. And since time is going to change, you won't remember anyway. Feels like a paradox. You know, some people say paradoxes aren't real. I don't know. Hello, Rain. Anybody home in there? Huh? Maybe she's so tired of your antics, she finally the flatlined. Look at the what you've reduced oh, her to. Oh, Tama! Whoa, 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 whoa! I have never anticked once in my entire life. You don't even know what the word antics. Rain, the, what's the matter? Huh? What? I I was just really happy to see you. Was all. That's weird. Oh, the K. <laughs> mm, don't make me feel in for that lazy Tama anymore, please. Mm. <sighs> You're a good friend. A betcha's met vestige of life. Claim your reward from the menus of Interlog. Dude, time for what? Huh? Sorry, felt like the right thing to say. The way you're working your keeper keysters off, I figured it was time for a final battle. My bad. You're right. Let's go find Wynn and round up the summoners. I think that we're ready. So this is it. Oh, dude, I am so excited. Oh, be it you're my ready expressions. Please. Ready to start the operation? No, not yet. Fine then. Come see me if you party poopers change your mind. Mini adventure. And now Tama can evolve into her higher form. I worked earlier, so I'm ahead of schedule. I almost read that as you woke early. I think time travel's a thing as far as our paradox a thing. I don't know. My friend Wi-Fi has a big say about paradoxes. Like a th they say paradox. Nope, nothing. does have a great soundtrack though with all its remixes and stuff I may actually download the soundtrack to this because all its remix versions of its own you know for all the Final Fantasies it plays so I want to go into oh, sorry, we have to go to the Mirage Boards It becomes a large. Oh, all resistance is mirror jewel. That's nice. Alright. I just want to see what that did. So. 
So first things first. One of these have got the lurk. I was doing a little bit grinding yesterday morning. Let's replace this with cure. Two foot straw, once more I've messed board. Okay. Dun 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 dun! You the get a star! Applause! Uh, what are you talking about? Whenever you the successfully unlock all of a Mirage's abilities, I get to certify that Mirage as a Master Mirage! and commemorate it by the giving you a star. Uh, okay. Thank you. You're going to want to thank me even the more in a sec. Once a Mirage gets its star, I can award it a stat bonus or a bonus ability. The neat, huh? Maybe you've already even noticed? Oh, now that's what I call service. Wow. We better create as many Master Mirages as we can. Look at all the upsides. Oh, hey, Tama, give me a star, too. Oh, my God. <sighs> Sorry, Lon, but I'm afraid you just aren't the what I call master material. Ooh, shot fired. Know, can you imagine? Master Lon? <laughs> that was mean. That's something, that sounds like something Sane would say. That's so mean. So mean. Hey, what's so funny? I could totally be Master Lawn. <laughs> it does. It does sound lame, though. I'm starting to wonder if I've put Grimoire in the right hands. But for now, we'll just laugh along. Okay, this dialogue's stretching out a bit much. Definitely want a bunch of these. Oh, I can only get eight of them. Well, I'm not worried about getting Phoenix Pinion. I got like, I got like several mini Mega Phoenixes. We got, and we got several Phoenix Pinions. So I think we're good on that. I think we're all set. We get ten of those. Two more X potions, okay. Have a fantabulous day. Well, thank you so much. I had two main characters from this and the record keeper, but I never got any of the good stuff. So you had you had Lawn and rain. Didn't record keeper get pulled? I better save. Hold on. 
Or it stayed in Japan, probably. Good evening. What now? Who sold with Ah, smidge of micro envy. Okay, we got one more. Just one more, is that it? Okay, we got one more. Let's go say real. Because they said I should do, I need to do all the interventions so we get on like an extra cutscene or something. Plus the ability to sell your gems are supposed to show up. Hey, I'm level 69, giggity. Yeah, this unlocked when we took care of Tama. Oh, well. If you think about it, Record Keeper was just nothing but a clone of Bravely Default. for me huh oh no no since we're both pixies i thought hey i may as well ask her about transfiguration hmm? transfig why now now that tom has learned to transfig and get all godlike i can't help but feel a bit i don't know if i'd say jealous uh it's more like really it's just a pang just a smidge of micro envy just a smidge, huh? <laughs> it sounds tough. You have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-level mirages. I'm not sure I'm cut out for it. Non-combatant and all that. Oh, I love my gummies. Huh? You want to help her out? Key! <laughs> How's this? Maybe we three can help you out a smidge. Really, dude? That's sweet. Uh, I did not mean to channel Vaughn just now. <laughs> hmm? Wait a sec. We three? Never mind. Now, Siren, call in a high-level mirage. Slow down. I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, it'll be fine. Right? Hey, who are you talking to now? <laughs> When did you get on board? I guess that means Wynn is on to us, huh? She definitely knows what's the up. But how the come I have to work my butt off just to help Seraphie? That doesn't seem right at all. Well, just pretend you're helping us collect mirages. Except I don't think this mirage is too happy about being collected. Yeah, Brave Frontier. Yeah. The combat system is exactly a clone of Brave Frontier. The summon system, the evolve system, the events were similar. Oh, it was just Final Fantasy themed. That's what it, that's what it, uh, the biggest difference was. Brave X. Oh, that's right. Brave X. Yes. Never mind then. I take it back. You're right. I forgot that that was the game. That was that was the game too. Never mind. I flipped the third. It's not. You're right. See, I admitted I was wrong, and you don't thought I never do that, huh? Oh, second fan's right. We argue like little bitches. Oh! 
That got creepy real quick. Just now is because Lon and Rain were there to help you out. Huh? What? They can do that? Sure can. You must have sensed them there. By your side? Hmm. I don't know what's going on, but the important thing here is that I won. Because <laughs> I won. Now that my prismarium has gotten just a little more robusty, I expect to do great things. Lon, rain. Oh wait, we gotta re get the reward. I forgot about that. I'm an idiot. Robusty, yeah. She basically turns into Siren, I think. Hello. What now? What is he? Oh, we got the seeds. Nice. We did everything. We're ready to fucking go. Oh. Arise is a good spell. She's all cleaned out. That's that was the objective was to do that. Did you beat this game, uh, Thunderfloor? Did you ever play it, or is this your first time watching it? Sane. Right, so we'll do one more thing real quick. Oh, Sin of Stubborn's here. I'm playing an RPG. Why would you want to be here? she becomes hot. Double check my gems real quick.
All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the finale. Yeah, he's gonna go and he's gonna go home and play the next Final Fantasy uh, 14 for the, or four for the next ten hours, right? To celebrate. He's going to an amusement park. This keeps on throwing, man. What the fuck? God damn. Don't please do that. <laughs> Fuck, 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 motherfucking fuck, fuck. Alright, let's go. Alright, this is easy. 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 Alright, Oh, hold on. Hit no. Fine then. Come see me if you party poopers change your mind. We'll start the finale in a second. I got raided. We gotta acknowledge the raiders real quick. Then we'll go grab a drink real quick before we do this final fight. How you doing, Ducky? Thank you very much for the raid. <coughs> I thought that I didn't. I could have sworn I heard my raid alert go off a second ago because I was like doing a shout out, and then I heard the raid go off at the same time. Just heading off for the night. Well, thank you very much. Very much for the raid. What were you playing? Shout out to Ducky. What? No Man's Sky. Maybe it's because it's scaled off of my computer monitor. Too, 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 too farty. Should be too farty. Definitely should not be that low. Mm. God, look how much, much look how much gummies I got left to eat. And that's just one bag. You look very stuck in that clip. Well, welcome on in, Raiders. I'm Ultima CJ. I'm a variety streamer, but I also uh, do redeems for retro and main games as well. Whenever uh, the community caches them on in, except for Thunderfoot Bros, he's too scared to do that anymore. But uh, welcome on in. Uh, I'm also a game developer. I work on my own games, and I'm going to be starting that sometime this August. Hopefully, I can get a platformer going. The Steam Summer Sale has started, so I've already bought me a couple things on there. Relarded the game development, so I'm hopefully uh, I can get started in there. But Ducky, you rated me. It's a you could have rated anyone, but you chose me, and it's a redemption of my channel. But anytime I do get rated, I do get I do get to you do get a complimentary. Hey, so. Would you like uh, book number one of my Toy totally Awesome books of user information? Would you like book number two? Or do you want your community and my community to suffer? And do you want to pick something from the pun book? What would you like? <coughs> Diabetes. Oh, yeah. This is, I, I got one more bag downstairs of this. Of these wonderful white strawberry banana gummies. Oh, man, they're so good. I've waited three freaking years for these things, so you know, it's my crack. Oh, so good. Mm. Mm. It's like you bite into it and the flavor kicks in. Oh. I'm not big into bananas too much. I love strawberries, but I'm not big into bananas, but the me the mixture they, f they put into here is just so delicious. And they're solid white. You don't. How often do you see a gummy bear that's a solid white gummy bear? A solid, not not see through or clear, but solid white. That's what you know. They're a unique color. So, um, Ducky, you there? Would you? What would you like? You rated me, so you get to pick uh, book number one, book number two. Or would you like me to be random with? Uh, or, or you can pick uh, book number three of the pun book. What would you like? Or I can pick something random. That's totally fine too.
unless he fell asleep already. I know it's uh, British time over there, so I know it's super late. You don't get the pick. You didn't raid me. That's something that'll never happen. Well, I won't say never. Unlikely to happen. Give him a second to respond. If he doesn't respond, then I have to assume he's not there. Well, I don't think he's there, so we'll go ahead and read. He may have raided and run. I've done that too. I've had to literally done that. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. All right. I'll, I'll go and read a random fact for everyone then. You know. Now, if you want to cash in for a pun, you can do that. You can do that with the redemptions down below. Thunderfoot. That doesn't count. self rate That doesn't count either, Lightning Edge, because I know you're not streaming. <laughs> that doesn't count. That doesn't count! Alright, I'm going to go ahead and read a I'm reading a fact here. Drew Barrymore was married to bartender Jeremy Thomas for fewer than two months and filed divorce papers after five months of marriage to comedian Tom Green. See, you saying? I do what he does. I don't self-raid. I rarely ever freaking do that. As is Julie C. saying, I do it. I do what he does. Yeah, you timed yourself out. I didn't do nothing. Welcome on in, Lightning Edge. Thanks for the hangouts yesterday. Thanks for sh and thanks for showing me some tips and tricks on how to suck even more at Mega Man Zero. We'll probably get more into that this coming Sunday. Let me go get a drink real quick and refill, and we will go ahead and get this for now finished. <coughs> ready to see this credit? Ready to see the truth? Ready for the final shout out? Let's talk to Seraphy. All right, let me go refill my drink real quick.
Message deleted, message deleted, message deleted. Oh, aren't you just cute? By the way, this, um, uh, just before, just, uh, before we do this, if you guys want to unlock voting for the next main game on the plate, make sure to fill that community challenge up. It's only about uh, 4,900 points off. Fill that up and we can, uh, I'll unlock, oh, we can, uh, do a vote for what game's gonna be played next on that list. If not, we go to the Wheel of Fate, and we'll see what it's going to give us. <coughs> Lightning Edge and Thunderbolt Bros with himself raise. It's nice to hear my raid alert go off occasionally. I won't lie about that. Well, that's because you haven't streamed in like in a month and you only stream like a half a day a week. Drum roll, please. Ready to start the operation. We are. We cleaned it. We cleaned out the girl who has no, who forgot her name. We unlocked the ability to go buy seeds and sell on our gems. We are ready to freaking go. Huh? Oh, good. Then Operation Salvation is so on. It's so, uh... Oh, you don't have to hunt down the summoners or the League of S. I can get the word out. Well, thank you. Thank you, you're doing some actual work. You can cap all you want. You know I'm not wrong. We know why you're taking a break. Quit being such a diva. Okay. It's go time, Rain. Right. The Ultima game. What do they hope to achieve? Hey. Hmm? What are you doing? For the win! For the win! Uh, <laughs> Titus. The champions have come. You should not have been able to reach this castle. Why would you come here? Hello, RGB. Our dear champion seemed to have devised some trick. What happened to the freaking <laughs> uh, all bedazzled? What trick could ever redeem these wretches now? <coughs> so we weren't able to stop them. That's not our objective. We're here to free the architect's souls. The Ultima Gate? We'll have to leave it to the twins. Right. This is not what I would call speedy. They're trying to reverse summon all of the Cogna at once. Give them some time. I see chat blowing up. I'll pause it real quick. You're all so... F what? Message deleted. Damn it, you can't do that to me. Oh, what? Are you, what's what's he doing to you? While Goblin... Oh, you said... Goblinetta kept her promise. She set her alarm for me. Aren't you nice? That's the nicest thing someone's ever done for me. Unlike other people, like Sane... Hey, RGB, he's here to see that. You ready to see a credit roll today? You ready to see an ending? Hopefully we can kick this boss's ass. Uh, you calling me a diva for taking a break? I didn't call you a diva. I said you're just taking... I never said that was words. There goes Sane again, making shit up. Was, oh, we're at the end of it, finally. Hopefully. Guess what? You're all... You, you are so fucking... Okay, you didn't finish what you typed in, you idiot. Message deleted. Oh, he can't do that to me. Apparently he can. He's been doing that a lot lately. Oh, 
I'm just gonna look at your 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 yeah your posts, Sorrel posts, and just good. That's fine. I don't need to remember the conversation. It's all a blur already. Oh my gosh! Don't don't encourage RGB. Don't encourage the boy. Because that's all you have up there is Pokemons. That's all you play. That's like the worst. Stream more, make more clips. That fixes that problem. Is that true? She says that over ever so innocently. I don't mind 100% in the game. This is recent. For real game? Did you see how it, like, all of a sudden just it flickered or something? And now the control doesn't work. Oh, man. Another glitch. There's gotta be something with the game. Like, that's so weird. Is it with the, the rumble pack? Maybe? RGB breaking know. games again. Yeah. Makes me question if you're really running original hardware over there. Mmm. Very sus. <laughs> Well, uh, <gasps> hello. What is all of this? <gasps> it can't be. Dad, no, don't. <gasps> so, you have at last remembered who this used to be. Uh, but it's too late for you. Dad, I'm sorry. I should have listened to you when I had the chance. Instead of acting like a stupid little brat. Yeah. I won't listen. I won't listen. Not unless you snap out of it right now! I'm so sorry, Mom. You know... All I ever wanted was to be like you. Aww. You kept the world safe from mirages. And how they loved you for it. Still, I could see how hard you worked all the time. So I stepped up. Lon and I decided we would help. Right? We'd handle mirages so you wouldn't have to. I never thought I was hurting you by taking them away. Without your strength, the world crumbled. But I believed, if I got strong, just as strong as you, I could make your life easier. I just wanted you to be happy, Mom. What a know-it-all. Some things don't change. I still haven't learned. Oh, she's fine growing up. Because if I have to, I'll hurt you again. Oh, it's a one on one fight. Oh, shit. Message deleted by a moderator. You're not trolling, you're fine. Let that clip, or oh, whatever. That clip will probably get deleted.
Magic shield, that's not the same as reflect, is it? Oh no, I've been toppled. Thank God we grinded. Daddy. Oh, hey, Surreal. Oh, maybe I called you Diva. Maybe you are Diva. May you do certain streams to dress, you know, to be a Diva at times. Or maybe because you just hang out with certain streamers that make you a diva. Either way, same. Be nice. You weren't here earlier, Surreal, and a couple others. He was being a mini poo. Absorb that, thank you. <coughs> Saint try to be cute, so did Lightning try to be cute, but like, oh, CJ never gets raided? Well, okay, let's do a self raid so he'll read a pun. I'm like, that's not how that works. That's not how that works. Of course, I have redemption down there if you want to cash one in. Oh, just say, oh my gosh. And then you would know I know I'm, you should be know I know you're, I'm joking with you. You should send sarcasm in voices, bro. I know why you're taking a break. I totally understand that. I do the same thing. I totally get it. I totally get it. You will not be spared. You can't sleep. We're at the finale. Stay wait. Stay awake. Stay awake, Goblinetta. Stay awake. Drink some coffee or fancy tea, as as the British do. See, I'll I'll get us started. See, tea. Stay up, Goblinetta. We miss you. Oh man, those damn doctors. Ah, uh, when my adorable looks is just not enough. Oh, I tried. What adorable looks I have, at least. Well, you have a great night. Sleep well. Thanks for popping in to say hello, though. Send her your nudes. You might stay awake. Now, I don't want to. I don't want to turn to the stone. Charge! My only regret is Rockstar Lexi's in this party. Cause she's my toidle. Bye, Dad. Oh no, he's going back to his original form. Dad! 
Oh, well, don't force yourself. Get some sleep, Goblinetta. Thank you, son. Oh, you bet. <laughs> you sure about that, Sane? Dad? Dad! I'm... I... I'm sorry. I... I couldn't change it. It's my fault. You're gonna die. Because of me. I've been dead for many years now. I'm sorry. Come on. If only I'd kept you safe from all this. Instead, I left you with no one at all to turn to. This here is just the shadow of my soul. My very last hurrah. You see, there's nothing to feel bad about. <sighs> of course I feel bad about it! Lon. What is it? Lon, I'm very proud. About what? You've grown up, son. Look at you. When people hurt, you hurt. You fight for them. You've become someone who cares about more than your own cause. Hmm, true. Hang on to that. And you'll go far. Ah, oh, they do the ten thing. That's so sad. Dad! Mom! No. Stay back. It's still... Rain! Oh, we gotta fight her again? Time to catch up a chat. Hello, Retro Perspective. You are actually, well, that's, oh my god. You use Chaz and Lexi a lot, but I never see you, you know, I've seen most of the times you've played this. You, that's because you've become a Mega Mirage. You become a summon. You evolved, saying you are, you are higher and above than us. You're so exclusive that you can only show up every once in a while now. Powering up in CJ's game. Well, retro perspectives in this. I didn't really use retro perspective too much, but I got. I think I got most of the people I know in this game. Both, you know, in the streaming community and people I know. You're a goddamn behemoth. That's right. You become a mega sane. You can only be summoned every once in a while. Your face is like the opposite of a blown up doll. <laughs> the opposite. Oh my god, I don't know how to I don't know how to take that compliment. Me, your dad, do you like my scarf? <laughs> Hello, hip. That's right, you need to get better. Cause you're a mega sane now. We'll summon you one I can only use you one time, so I'll summon you at the right moment. A Twitch screen means you can grind you to dust? Nah, I don't know about... Eh. If you overdo it, yeah. But if other things kick on in, then you just don't feel like streaming, period. I know it's mostly your hands are kicking your ass, though. Motivation's basically shot. Well, what do we need to do to get that motivation back? You know, you're like so close to becoming partner, you got like 90,000 people to follow you. 
What can we do to make that make it ten, uh, a hundred thousand to the ninety thousand? What can we do? Hegel died in a cholera epidemic, and his last words were, Only one man ever understood me, and he didn't understand me. Presumably, he was referring to himself. You know, you could see that with Hegel. Considering the somewhat esotericness. <coughs> you lost it during a reading. I can see why that got clipped. should say a lot. No. Bentham had himself stuffed and sits on public view in a glass box at University College London in order to maximize the utility of his person. And only a utilitarian would go that far. Well, don't break your heart too hard, Sane. You don't want to overstrain yourself by getting too many DMs at once. I totally get that. I tell you if you can't stream because it's definitely your hands because every time you keep talking about your hands it's like they, your doctors suck. Unless you want to turn into the dark knight and say I have no emotion. <laughs> I want to fight my mommy. It'd be hard to play a game if your hands are hurting like crazy. I I know that because I've had surgery on my hand, and this hand's not always in great, in great shape. So I totally get it with, with trying to play a game. Definitely, if a game, especially if a game demands a lot of uh, attention to it. I can totally understand mental health, especially if a lot of real life craps kick kick it in the face. I totally get that. It affects it affects you doing everything you want to try to do. Especially when you got others around you and you're not alone. And it's probably harder. I know it's hard for me, especially when you're super duper alone, such as people like some health. So I totally can get that. And then you want someone to lean on, but unfortunately there's no one there to lean on. Well, I have my cats, but I don't know how far they can take me. I got this. Will holy work on you? There it does. Five thousand points. What? Tend to stay away from handheld consoles. Man, I regret. I loved Hollow Knight, but I regret playing it on a. I regret playing it on a handheld. That was a stupid thing to do on the Switch. That game was hard. Out. Oh, resist. Death to all the unready. Oh, that actually kind of hurt.
Oh, it's the repeat from the first game. No! Don't! You have to stay in control of your power! Run! <sighs> Mom! You should turn those corners up, or your happiness will spill right out. Come on, smile. There we go. Huh? Hello? A little bit of a fake cry, but it is sad. For once, this game did not get cute. It actually took it got took a serious turn. Hello, William. <laughs> did you hear me talking about you earlier? Trying to say, trying to get, trying to give me happy, get, trying to give me some happiness. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> Uh oh. Speaking of the asshole we summoned re previously, he got some thick legs. Mm -hmm. Transient though their presence here was, it is curious you managed to defeat them. Sorry, we couldn't stop him. Don't worry, we will. Yeah. Careful, he can transform. Oh, I don't get my HP back? Ah, oh, dang nabbit. I wonder if the bra showing up on her is actually on the top of her. It just seems to tailor that way. Thing is, he didn't ever want to play any Mega Man games. When did I ever say that? Mega Man base might be a huge issue for you, CJ. Well, I've heard it's tough. I mean, I beat Mega Man Unlimited. Only one way to find out, right? Also, I don't know what it's taking him so long to play X8. It takes as long as the community takes me to go play it, Surreal. And those are facts. See that little community bar down there? Speaking of, if you guys fill up the other community bar before we finish this game, you guys will have the power to vote for the next game. Oh, I know. I just picked Hollow Knight on the, on the handheld because it looked like a fun handheld game. Because Metroidvanias are pretty fun to play on a handheld. For the most part. I regret not doing that for uh, Hollow Knight. That was my fault. Personal exhaustion? Yep. 60 hours would do that. To be fair, I have never said that. This game's not so hard. Not so I, I think we had like two hard moments, but that was about it. But yeah, I like, like what your perspective is. Go easy on yourself and don't overdo it. As the game master would say before the Hey Zeusy, how you doing? Decision. Are you sure you want to do this? I hope you X8. Well, I only one way to find out. Fill up that community bar and we'll find out together.
That's the spirit. Yeah. Aha. Now we got, what, 170,000 more points to go? First things first, let's heal up. <laughs> Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ah, I absorbed that. Although it is ironic that Bacon's part of the main group as a mogul. He's a great party member. He's got a lot of good buffs and, and spells. He's more of a support class. And I made Sane a behemoth, and he just turns into a gigantic behemoth. Let's see what Holy does. Ow. No. You can cast flare, interesting. Let's heal you back up. Ackerman 146. Interesting name for an ability. What's it gonna do to us? Yeah, that's a little creepy. Not bad. down. I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. That can't be it. All right. Nah, we ain't done yet. <gasps> that's one. That's too no. anti-climatic. Too anti-climatic. Fools! I have hunted <laughs> the worlds of A for ages, but yours was the very first in which I made true <laughs> progress. Which means. I can now bring my rules into your world, and I happen to be exceedingly fond of my rules. Oh, he's a dungeon master. Observe! <laughs> oh boy. Do you see? I have in 
infinite life and power beyond all limits. There is no force that can stand before me. Not even the champions of this A world. A world? So, your choice. Will you bow before my rules? Or will I watch you snap as the rules of my world break you? I don't know, Retro Perspective, what do you think? Typical bad guy speech? Can we- do we have to bend the knee to obey his rules? I remember someone's safe word was pineapple- not my safe word! My safe word is kumquat! Went to Central Bargain Bin. You haven't told me what you don't like outside the blanket uh, of the blanket statement. Uh, you may have to DM me for details on that. I used to, but but yeah, that's what happens. That's that's usually sometimes a side effect of sex. I thought I was. Neo X death, yeah. Where I command these rules. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I've only played Final Fantasy V once. But x -Death was like that. But also, x -Death, wasn't he like... He didn't like beings create him and he just was an experiment. And he got badly abused and just turned into like, You know what? I'll make this my world and my rules. Screw you all. Oh, I'm saying getting pregnant is it c comes with the territory of sex is what I meant. Let me give Sorrel a shout. I don't know where Frenum's at, so I'll give you a shout out, Sorrel. In the game, that I said that I might um, play on stream. Oh, Metal Arms. Metal Arms, a glitch in the system. I've never finished that game either, and I. I never even. I never even heard of that game. Oh, I remember like X Death was like created by some kind of being, and it was like an experiment or something gone wrong, and then he decided to like just consume all, you know, you know, you know, do the bad guy thing of I want more power. And what do bad guys want? More power. Okay, I gotta look here real quick. I like how escape is not dimmed out. That's cute. Where's my high ethers at? There's Mega Elixir. There we are. <laughs> Boom! Trying to scare me? Oh, that's right. That's what made him turn it. Yeah, because he created it and then he just like, screw it. I want to just, I want to make, I want to purge the world, including myself. Hey, he beats on itself. Oh. All right, one absorbs it, one's weak to it. That's, I'll tell you, that's a fair trade. Can we summon Sane? Let's go ahead and summon Sane out. So Sane, so Sane can be like, oh, look at me and my big ass chest. Big paw, yes, hi Salty. This is the finale.
Good old headbutt. Access was just by an evil spirit in a basic attempt to. Oh, okay. That's. I knew. I knew something went wrong with X Death. I couldn't remember if it was an experiment going wrong or. There we go. Good damage. Oh, now I gotta get my crap back up. Down they go. Oh, and it causes confusion and status effects. Can't do nothing. She might, we might actually wipe. The status effects need to wear off in order me to do anything. Needs to hit me or something. Oh, I'm gonna do lose the confusion. I'm gonna lose the confusion. He has to melee attack me, or I gotta wait till it wears off. Come on, we're off. I miss myself. Thank you. Oh, but he's gonna get another move off. Wow. Just fucking wow. Almost lost to confusion. Oh, that sucked. And then uh, Gotta do it again! All because of confusion! Oh, we gotta be careful with this, jeez. Defend. Restack. He, j he jangled us and then he did a move that caused confusion which took three or four rounds to wear off. Don't you love dying to confusion? All because of a Holy sad Holy strawberries! Four ads really bad. I have ads set to pretty low, but they will happen every hour. I'm sorry, Zeus. 
Yeah, it basically you get an ending, but it's not the real ending. You technically beat the game, but you didn't complete it. It's like, sorry, there's more content due to the post end game content, so we've technically beaten the game, but because it has that, that kind of written of an ending, it's technically not beaten. You know why Eric had a conversation about this. You saw a credit roll, you beat the game. Is that it? I don't know. Is that it? Is there more Billy Mays? No. Is it done yet? Almost. Just a little more time. Really? Is that all? <laughs> Uh oh. Repeats from the bef before the bad ending. Huh? Rain? Concentrate. Focus on the cage so it only encases him. Right. That's a big Fine. hand. Many cages together. Dad! Rain, you need to be the strong one. Don't let Lon's power overtake him. Keep control. Maintain focus. Mom? You'll be okay. If you work together, there's no happiness you can't attain. Rain, you ready? Yeah! <laughs> an ooh or fart, Zeus. We did it. Yeah. Sorry, don't you like to make the TTS talk to do that? Ooh, woo. Huh? <laughs> oh, no biddies. I understand. I know how much you love to get that thing to talk. See, we should have never gotten a credit roll to begin with. It should have said, this is not the real ending, and then move on to the next, next chapter or whatever. That's what they should have did. It's 10 bits. It's 10 bits to make it talk. It's not a big limit. I see a wing. Oh, uh oh. 
Uh-uh. Uh-uh. This guy won't quit. The main chick active. Yeah, she, she actually did. You're right. She realized the screw-ups and then, like, you know what? This happened in the previous ending. This can't happen again. Oh, no, our sister. Judo chop! Oh, you kid! There you go, yeah, oh, you kid! <laughs> falcon kick! I almost said falcon kick too, but then he started doing a punch, so. Falcon punch! Are they going to imprison him? There! Use those to keep Grimoire <coughs> safe! You'll find all the other Prismariums with Seraphy. Huh? What? What are you saying? The Dyad has done enough damage. It's time for us to leave for good. <sighs> it's time to go leave Nardia. I don't! Everything's going to be better, Wynn. Once we go through, the portal will vanish. So these trash cans won't ever be able to meddle in your world again. But what about you? Hey. Make him a slave? Turned up. You don't want your happiness spilling out. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I <laughs> guess if you capture Pokemon, they're technically that, Zeus. I like the piano. They brought us so much bad and good. And then they just swept it all away in the end. I'll say. The two of them were a force of nature. Maybe I'll take a leaf out of their playbook. And go a little crazy for a change! Oh my gosh, Oh, sis. please. Your current crazy levels are hard enough on us. Well, at least Rain and Lon seem like they're going to be okay. Yes. If they stay together, we have nothing to worry about. <laughs> okay. It's our turn. Grimoire's gonna need some fixing up. It's gonna be a lot of work. Well, see ya. Thanks, you two. You can rest now. Well done.
Uh, definitely a different credit roll. Yeah, was, I think they are. Their voices sound very, and I think lightning as well. Like it's the actual credits, yeah, to do the post content. And I, we 100% of it, so we're supposed to get an additional scene after this. Anna Kroos was supposed to be the god of the, of the world, so not very well explained. I don't know, here's the credit roll for the names. Heidi Bertris, is that the same person who did it in uh, 10? And then James Arnold Taylor for Titus. That I don't I'm not familiar with actors whose names. Are those the same names, retro perspective? Claudia Black, Leviathan Chaz was right. Yep, Claudia Black. I recognize that voice. <coughs> Aw, Celeste is cute. Yep. She played she voiced over this. As look, she was Leviathan. I like, I know that voice, and then Chad said in chat, "That's Aaron from Farscape." I'm like, you know what? You're right. Now I think about it. That was a great show. Glad we got a three-hour movie to conclude that shit. Because if season four ended the way it did, I would have been livid. Oh, I was asking about the two actors, the uh, Yuna and Titus, James Arnold Taylor. I think I said. For Titus, and I forget the other person's name. God, this music's so anime. <coughs> Amanda something for Yuna, I think. I can't remember. But Claudia Black, I recognize, because I know she's in a couple games. She was also in um, Dragon Age. As more uh, Morgan. I don't know. What do you think, Soro? You think we beat the game? That's so cute. They're all twerking. So adorable. Good ending music, even if I don't know what they're saying. Hey, Samoto, thank you. Yeah, this game had a very big voice acting cast. Everything in the game except for reading, like, uh, notes and your key items or posters was voice acted, which, very well done for voice. The voice acting was very well done. Not, not, not like, oh, God, this voice acting is so awful. I want to, you know, lose my mind over it. 
all the voice acting was phenomenally well done. That's pretty cheap for a video card. Video cards finally go down in price. Not like I need one, but. That's pretty cool that Yuna and Titus are the original voice, that they use the original voice actors. There's Chocolina. What a Final Fantasy. That would make no sense. There's too many different characters. All you would have is Cloud and Tifa. That's it. There's Gilgamesh. Bards, fight me. We have to fight. There's Edgar the Playboy who hit on every female Final Fantasy character in this game. There's Tifa in her cute cowboy hat, which, retro perspective, explain that one. Why is she wearing a cowboy hat? Or someone explain that to me. Oh, yeah, Snow. Uh, I think Snow was the original voice actor as well. She, so she did wear a cowboy hat before she left Nebelheim? I don't remember that. I only played seven one time, but I was like, cowboy hat? What's Sid was a robot in this universe. The girl who forgot her name is from a Final Fantasy title for the DS I never heard of. Uh yeah, Edge told us what it was, but I forget what what it was called. And all the fans of Final Fantasy. Uh, okay, that's where they got that from. I don't remember wearing a cowboy hat. I'm like, wait, what? Now, this should be the extra scene we get for 100% in the game. Oh, I nearly forgot. You both have a reward coming. Don't you hate when you say all your goodbyes and then find out you're not leaving? It's the worst. Aw, uh, let's just roll with it. One thing about Grimoire, it never gets old for me. <laughs> oh, what, we become mirages? Okay. <laughs> Save your progress? Ah, uh, yeah. Definitely. That's the only other, like, the three, if I had to point three bad things about this game, of course, the two main characters I couldn't connect with, getting the Goal, the Jill, Jill to experience ratio was a bit, mm, and one save slot. You RPGs with one save slot. What's up with that? No, because I don't want to actually save and you know bone myself out of something I may have should have never done. You can now remove Lon and Ren from your stacks. Now you've beaten the game. We beat the game beforehand. We got a credit roll before, it just wasn't the real credit roll, quote-unquote. If you're reading this, you must be looking for more fun here in Grimoire. Nah, well, just for you, we we'll prepare some brand new dungeons. Think you're ready? Are you sure? And drop by the girls' tea room. The gates of these tricky dungeons are waiting for you there. How much you want to bet they strap on the balls and just make it extremely difficult? We'll check out the bonus content in a little bit. Final boss wasn't too hard. He almost wiped us with that damn confusion move. But that that was Final Fantasy, uh, World of Final Fantasy. What was our total game time? 58 hours, 18 minutes. Uh, I'd say subtract maybe six of that from, you know, grinding off stream and stuff. Not a bad game. Little very, very cutesy. Well-told story. 
voice acting was great. The music's pretty good. Long, great. Nah, this 60 hours is about right. Like I said, subtract 10. You know, stream-wise, it took, what, 17 parts? Yeah. Something like that. <coughs> hey, Seraphie. Um, you seem to have something sitting on your head there. What's the deal with that? Huh? <laughs> How did that get there? You didn't even notice? <laughs> oh, boy, what a doofus. Uh, have you checked your head? Oh, jeez. Uh, how did that get there? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, boy, what a doofus. Both of you are doofuses. Hey, the word is doofy. Here, I'm giving you this, so let's just move on. Uh, thank you. Doofy? What is this for? Is that even a word? Doofy. <laughs> God. I haven't the foggiest. <laughs> I guess when I go out for a walk, stuff just finds its way onto my head. Don't you just well, hate that? On, whenever you see some thingamabob parked in my noodle, you just go ahead and help yourselves. Oh, okay. I can't explain how the great it is to see you. I feel so warm in the fuzzy inside. <laughs> tinkle, 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 tinkle. Warm in the fuzzy on the inside, cold and wet on the outside. Alright, so before we do the post content real quick, I'd like to thank those who have popped in this entire, uh, for this journey of World of Final Fantasy. No bonus dungeons get unlocked. The game's done. It's just you get to do extra bonus dungeons now. Well, since the community challenge wasn't filled up, let's go ahead and give the wheel a spin to see what we're going to be playing next. Uh, okay, yeah, so basically you beat the game and then um, you want you get like extra unlock content. So Let's go ahead and spin this wheel. Let me get the thing up real quick All right, we got Darksiders 3 score Nexus, which will be a second playthrough. I played this game off stream and I beat the uh, the first character playthrough but the second playthrough adds enough content to where it's, it's playable again with new story and everything. So it'd be technically a first playthrough. Then we got Moon Raider on the Switch, which is supposed to be a Metroidvania game. And then Hob, I'm not sure of. And Mage of, of Mysteria, I am not sure of. Those are two games I got off the Epic Store page for free. They look kind of fun. <coughs> none of which, none of these are long ass games or anything like that. Like this was, so it's something a little bit short. Short. Reroll. Hob is neat. I heard good things about it. Like it's a fun platformer, not too long of a game, not too confusing. I know nothing about it, so if you want to give me your feedback of it, you know, I'm welcome for it. So. Let's give it an old spoon rooney and see. Um, well, I'm glad. I didn't. I never heard of Hobbs. Good to know some people who have heard of this game. So, whether it's gonna be like super fun or whatever, I don't. It looks like a, like a platformer adventure game, but it doesn't look like it's too hard or too complex or too puzzly or anything like that. It has puzzles. It looks. Like, yeah. Well, hopefully it's not too much of a puzzle, cause I'm decent at puzzle games, but I'm not like. Oh, uh, like uh, what's it called? Braid. That's you want a game that will. 
mess with your noodle, braids the one. All right, let's spin this wheel, and then we'll check out some of this extra bonus content, and then we'll call it a stream. All right, Scarlet Nexus it is. And we'll probably start that on Monday evening. I already got the game installed. So like I said, this is bonus content. Uh, this is not bonus content. I've already beaten this game one time, but I didn't do Kasane's playthrough, which is a whole different uh, storyline. Like enough, it's a, you ever play one of those games that they, uh, when they make two characters, you pick one of the two characters to play with, but they add just enough content to where, okay, you know what? This is worthy of a second playthrough. It's kind of like that. Not a bad, this wasn't a bad game. Not a bad journey. Oh, look at that. So there's our, uh, and does she unlock anything new? A break. What now? Who's so? Anything new added to this? Nope. Okay. What now? See you soon? So what we got here? Oh, okay. You know what? We're let the community. We'll have a little fun here. Let's see here. I'm not gonna do a full play of this. I'm just we're just gonna check it out. Just like wrap up some minutes. Let's see, we'll set it for three minutes while I go get a drink. Yeah, so what do y'all want me to pick? Door number one, door number two, or door number three? A poll is up. I'm gonna go refill my drink real quick and then we'll see what happens. I'll be right back.
poll's about to be over with. We'll be getting. Door number two. I guess everybody likes to go up the middle. Ho ho. Ah, oh, hello, Apit. You missed the ending, my friend. You missed the ending. We're just checking out the extra bonus content gets unlocked. Well, okay, well, does this remind you of what? The Mako Reactor? Uh, well, what's this way over here? Drop some decent experience points. Um, Sean said, told me in confidence that's his favorite X game so far. He loves X6. And we don't get a map either, huh? Dude, it's on. X6 is sex? Oh my gosh. I don't know about that. That's a bunch of RGBs we have to defeat. Just all magic and stuff. How you doing today, Sean? You still got Final Fantasy 12 to still finish, don't you? that far but you but you told me that in confidence that you love that game I will say the ending getting the doing the post content was worth doing it the ending was good very very lengthy ending for a side Final Fantasy non canon to the actual no trouble at all. numbered oh, yeah. series, it wasn't a bad game. Although, like I said, I can't connect with the two main characters. I mean, they, they do grow near the end. They're not as intolerable. Let's do this. Let's try to speed this up a little bit.
stealth. That wasn't very stealthy. No way. All right, well, I'll have to fight him. Ow. Oh, I wouldn't say it's because I'm a person in my 40s. I mean, I've played many games with where, where adults would act like this. I just, I, I can't connect personally with the characters because one is a complete idiot and one's a snarky bitch. And adults act like, adults can act just the same way as these characters are. I think they're in their teens in this game, but still, it's just... It's like you, you meet someone, you're like, oh, you think you're gonna like them, and then like, every fight, like, they, they stay cool for five minutes, then they become a... Mm. Well, well, I liked you, now you just turn into a bitch again. Thanks a lot. Or asshole, however you wanna, however you wanna like, word it. I mean, I've played games with a lot more cringy story writing, uh, story writing and acting, uh, retrospective. It's just the main two characters I can't connect with because of their personalities. It's like, it's like, it gets, it gets too cringy. I mean, not as, not as... Not as bad as uh, Final Fantasy uh, X-2, but, you know, it's up there. Everything else is a storyline I, I could connect with. I mean, I liked the story. The story was, it was cutesy, but it, was also, it also had it, its mature moments, too. We're just checking out the bonus content for a little bit before we call it a stream. So I got a few more minutes before I got to wrap it up. I'd like to do a little more exploring. Can you not give us tough ass enemies? But then again, this is bonus content. What do you expect? I have similar issue with Martin. Oh, yeah. It's just the two main characters. It's just they're, you know, one is too cringy and too, and it just... You know, I get he's a teenager, but still, I've met adults that are like the heck. Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Fan Holy strawberries! Fantastic example of cringe storyline. Story writing. You want to play an RPG that will do that to you? Play that. All the references and all that are cute. I just going by myself and I have a problem with the character. I just can't connect with them. Because one, I, I mean, just like in real life, let's say with a real life, like a person like Rain, I would never date a woman like that. I've met women like that. I would never be a friend to a person like that or even remotely date them or anything because they're just mean and so angry. It's just like, my gosh, do you need to like go rub one off or something? I mean... Why you gotta stick up your ass the entire time? Not so, that's regardless of age. There are people who just like that. It's like. I mean. I've read books where female characters are like that, and I'm like. Predictable. I'm like reading the reading the book or whatever, and I'm like, man, does this girl just need a good dick in her or something? What is wrong with her? She's so angry all the damn time. And I don't mean. Oh, interesting. This is like, and I'm not talking like Tuzundre. I'm, I'm just a sassy evil Amini Tuzundre. No, nothing like that. You're not, you're not sassy. You just a bitch. <laughs> and that's, that's why I couldn't connect with Rain. And then Lon was just a certified douchebag half the time. He said, and then the characters pointed it out all the time. Like, man, why you gotta be so dumb? I'm like, I know, right? 
these games look stupid enough from the box. Oh, they are. But they do a lot of good shout-outs to lots of video game references and nostalgic into retro community kind of stuff. So if you can get past the whole... I mean, I'll give you an example. Uh, it's dangerous to go alone, take nap. You know, kind of like that. Oh, everything resists everything. Did you not miss? Oh wait, I think they're weak to water. You're older than me? Really? Then you would be the second person I've ran into that's older than me, because I don't know how old you are, so I'm gonna tell you. So I think the oldest streamer I ever ran into, I think, well, streaming-wise, I think the oldest person I ever ran into was like 62 years old. Streaming-wise, not chat-wise, but streaming-wise, yeah. No, I don't want to do that. But age is re irrelevant for this game, because, especially for Rain, because like I said, she's just a character, it's just, she's so angry, so mean all the time. I wouldn't want to be around so I'm, I have an employee that's like that at my workplace. I don't talk to her and she don't talk to me because she's disrespectful in, in every shape of the word. Like if something goes wrong at work and I have to fix it, I point it out there. She will literally go into 10 year old mo mode and make a scene in front of people. So I don't talk to her and she doesn't talk to me. That wasn't so bad. And I, I, I just tell myself, as long as she doesn't go out of her way to make my job miserable, which she doesn't, she comes in, she relieves me, and that's it. Uh, let me catch up a shot. <clears throat> This game's storyline's long. Yeah, I think it's it's cute. It might be it's it's aimed at a younger audience, Samoto. I mean, the fact that I couldn't put name someone because they had the letters A S S consecutively or A or even if you did A Z Z, I mean, I, I could tell it's aimed towards a younger audience. But this game does have a multiplayer mode in it where you can you can throw your mirages at each other. But still, I mean, I understand if you can't put the word fuck or shit or something like that. But if I can't name somebody like. Something like Jessica or something that has ASS in it. It's... it's a game that either would rate a person raise at a time or raise the fact they haven't learned enough from the previous five games. I've learned that that game has very bad stage design, Lightning Edge. It's, and on, after Exceed Edge told us about the whole, it only took him nine months to produce Mega Man X6, I can see why it's just so bad in design. They rushed it. It's nine months. <coughs> Sounds like the game has better. Yeah, the story is mediocre, but it's it's like it's just like a it's brain inducing uh voice uh uh sale loss. Uh I noticed you use VX for your game for the fir uh for the first for the first game, it's level 55. Uh, for the uh, the second game, because I use VX Ace for it as well, is 99. And then the, the one with the MV is also 99. I mean, 55 is like the... I kept I wanted to keep it simplistic, so like so if you're level 55, you can easily, you know, I mean, it'll, it'll be slightly challenging to fight the boss, because, you know, status effects and, you know, that luck factor and all that, because it's a solo play adventure. But it's... You know, that's, that's what the max level is. <coughs> you 
Hey, sexy boy, I'll do your custom. I'll do you. I'll do your custom. You know, little right now. What? Okay. Interest. Oh, you're talking to him. What? Alrighty. I expect a succulent peck on the cheek for women that don't need me. Yeah, I can see that being a true statement. Just, just such an angry person. It's just like it's like I know people like this, and they're not children. They're adults. I hope he shows up well in chat. Okay, it's, it's, it's aimed at younger people. Yeah, X is one thin. I, I am on. Th no, you're on thin ice, hip dragster. Uh, I think it's the worst in the series for X Sex, especially some of those stages. I almost threw in the towel for X Sex. I mean, X Five had some bad ports too. Too like. I, I still think X6 is the worst out of them all. X7 wasn't great either, especially with its bad voice acting, but people are way too focused on what they perceive to be bad and actually miss out on the things. Uh, the game did good on a couple things. It had a good story. I'll give it that. It did have a good story. Wow, you gonna blackmail uh, retro perspective like that? That's pretty mean. Let's go a little further and then we'll call it a stream. Well, now we're in the train yard? Oh. So it's just basically like the, it's like a mishmash of stuff basically. Wait, can I go this way? We can. And we will. Treasure chest there. I don't have the... I don't have R I don't have RGB with us, so we can't do that. So I guess... We mm. Here we go! Yeah! We got it. Well, uh, yes and no, Lightning Edge. What? I don't want to fight. But, like, you play something like X4, X2, X3, X1, and maybe X5, then you play X6, and the stage design is just horrifically bad. I mean, X7 took a, I mean, they did 3D, but at least X7 took a step up and the stage design's not nearly as atrocious as X6. I can't say for X6, I haven't played it yet. hesitant on redeeming a, ga a game to, for someone because that's, that's just like not everyone likes pineapple and pizza I hate it I think it's an abomination that should be destroyed but other people like it yep it, it's a risk you take it depends on you know not everyone's gonna I mean it's, it's cool to share oh don't resist, please resist that it's you know you're sharing something with somebody else it doesn't but don't it's just like predictable Kind of like with with I learned with my vi my video game projects. It's like you can't please everybody. Can we at least? Nope, we can't go this way. This is hopefully it's not a dead end, dead end, and we have to go back and go get the zap because that would suck. But I'm not gonna do that. We're, we're just doing we're just killing time right now while I'm chatting with you lovely folks. I won't hold back. Right. Let's oh yeah, Zero Zero is definitely harder. I mean, the first game just like rips its balls off. Rips, no, straps on some balls, and it's extremely hard. Honestly, as a kid, I probably would never finish that game.
mean, you hardly get enough health and you get a minute and 15 seconds to beat the first boss. That's pretty, uh, for the for a first boss, I mean, I, he basically went Dark Souls on us. I mean, Dark Souls is the same way. Jeez, you just take... You're just, you're just resist everything, huh? Okay. Get good, yeah, pretty much. I hate to say that. I don't care for that mentality in games. Haha, <laughs> we'll get good. Well, technically I did. I did beat Dark Souls 1. That was an endeavor. Of course. My gosh, how much it's almost dead. Yeah. I have no problem when people are like that. Just I hate when people run their mouths for wrong reasons. Oh yeah, don't. Uh, I'm not gonna run my mouth about it now unless I've played it before in the past. I'm not gonna run my mouth about a game until at least I've experienced it. So don't don't hesitate to uh, redeem a game or anything like that. If you have a, a game that you want me to check out, what what kind of game were you interested in me checking out? I'm I'm thinking that you have you wanting to like redeem a game. Well, there's nothing wrong to play X like the classics. It's 100% harder. Should... Yeah, it's not like the classics. It's the... I mean, I prefer the classics over the X series. The X series is not meant for the casual player. It's not. I mean, some of the regular Mega Man games aren't, but that depends on the Mega Man game. But you're getting pace having you moved into the X series. Well, I played all the X series, but it's my, it's not my pace. It's not my preferred style. That's not called out. My preferred style is the OG Mega Man games. I prefer those. I prefer a full health bar. I don't prefer getting like tanks and stuff like that. And you know, e not E tanks, but like, health tanks. I prefer using an E tank versus accumulating building up your E tank. It's it's a preferred style. I like everyone, but they don't like me, and that's okay. Yeah, some people are just like that. Is this your first game, single player? Yeah, the, the one that I redeemed for you. Yeah, Destiny of Wizards is the very first game I ever developed. I would have expected, if you think about it, pretty much relatable to real life. If you play a game that has this, uh, that has the same genre across so many episodes, as a developer, I would expect that the player to be at least proficient over 15 games. Uh, it depends on the person, because like you just said, at OG Mega Man is not the same as X. They're completely, I mean, they play similar, but in terms of difficulty and pace, they're completely different. And no matter what, if you have a preferred taste in Mega Man games, a preferred taste in the genre, just like with me with the Final Fantasy series, I prefer turn-based. Games like Final Fantasy 16, games like Final Fantasy 15 are not going to cater to me no matter what, whether I'm good at them or not, because it's not my style of type of RPG. I'll play them. I like them. They're okay. I mean, I'll, I'll play... The Devil May Cry FF16 eventually. I'll play FF15 eventually, or even Final Fantasy 12. They're a complete, but I, you know, because it's not my kind of taste. I'm not gonna fully be as good at it or be immersed into it because it's not my cup of tea. It's just like, it's like eating pizza or eating a certain food. Like, hey, I like this food, but I don't love it. So no matter how many times I've eaten it, it's gonna be still the same experience. If that makes any sense. Uh, I'll talk about redeem. If I'm more, li I'm more likely to redeem something for you with you, especially if it includes post 2000 games. 
And I was talking about redeem. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not going to run my mouth. I might... I don't want to say prejudge, because that seems a bit too... Because I do, when someone redeems a game, I do, especially if I don't know what it is, I do look it up, I read a little about it, I get a little opinions from, the from you know, various communities and professional reviews and personal reviews just to give an idea, okay, this is what I may be expecting. But I won't... I won't give a full opinion or something until I've actually checked it out i'll have a mindset in the back of my head i'm like okay kind of like with x7 a lot of people crapped on x7 so i did have that mentality in my head of like okay i expect this to be a shit show i expect this to be bad but when i played x7 i did see the shit show a part of it but i also saw you know that people over exaggerated about it it's like it's like uh thunderfoot bros said one time it ain't great but it ain't bad either. It's like in the middle in terms of people did over exaggerate it and all that. So it's like kind of like what's kind of like games, kind of like really, 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 really good games like Undertale, for example. I liked Undertale. I think it's personally overhyped and pushed. I liked Final Fantasy VII. I think it's over. I think it's overhyped. I think it's over pushed. I mean, I like Seven. Yes. Okay, we're just going all over the place. Oh, hello. A save point. No ads, I'm sorry, hip. I hate ads too. I mean, there's only one way out of them, unfortunately. Does it have more than one character? No, it's... Um, uh, I wanted to keep the game simplistic, but I also want to have inspirations for the first game. Think Dragon Quest 1, uh, in terms of that kind of standard. That's the inspiration I was going for, Retro. Oh, Rama, huh? Or Ramu. Be careful. Clearly a worthy challenge. Interesting stack. Let's see what he does for attack. Oh, cool. He absorbs my attack. Wow. It wiped our party out. Yeah, this is end game content, so I expect that to be bad. Okay. No big deal. I just wanted to kill some time with you guys and check that part out a little bit. I noticed that the last time I found a game that likes to kill the player in their first battle, I was playing. Um, that can happen in my first game if you don't like grind a little bit or even if in the very beginning. So when I made my first game, I did make a lot of things like where, like in the prologue and stuff to collect items or collect gold enough to either buy a better piece of armor or a better weapon and i always suggest people to get the best the first get a better weapon if you just go in there with your whatever you start with and don't do anything else yeah you're more likely to get a game over real quick because it's it's like as i said it's, it was designed to be kind of like dragon war here a little bit more on the difficult side although the second game uh not for well, not the second game but after you get a couple levels or two, it starts panning out. The first chapter, like I was telling Bombshell Boy, it's a little, it's a little unbalanced because I was like, I was still learning. It's kind of like you get, there's three dungeons in the first game. And the second dungeon, you need to be around level seven. And after you beat that, you might be level eight. And then it takes a little bit of a jump. And I was learning as a developer at the time. Uh, so to do the sec the, the the final dungeon in the first chapter, you have to be like roughly around between 13 and 15. So that's 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So about five or six levels of a gap. And all you're doing is running around grinding to get those levels. But when you get to the second chapter, it starts to pan out and balance out to where you don't have to. It's more becomes more progressively uh, a progressive grind rather than a... Um, I'm just sitting on one spot grind. I try to design my games. I mean, I, it, it gets better in the first game as you progress to the next chapter. But uh, for the second and third game, I made it more towards progressive grinding, meaning 
basically you go into a dungeon, you're going to make some progress, you're going to get a couple, couple level two, and then when you go in the dungeon again, you can get further in, further in. It's not like, hey, I'm stuck in this one spot forever for three or four hours. I don't design them like that. And so and that's the kind of progressive grinding I've kind of done. So, like I said, for my first game, it's rough around the edges. Be gentle. <laughs> it was me still learning. And then when I made this, the second game is honestly, in my opinion, it's the toughest one because uh, it could be tough depending what kind of what kind of party setup you do. Um, and um, because I designed it most more like like Dragon Quest Three, where you can have different party members and decide what you want to do with what those particular party members. Um, and it's also a little more difficult because I throw all kinds of mechanics in there. I was experimenting and playing with stuff and some people liked the stuff. Some people hated it. It's like, and then when I made the third game, I took everyone's opinions and, uh, feedback and kind of like took out certain things, but left certain things in, but improved it to make it a little bit more fair. So, uh, and that's why I, when I point out my games, I always say play my third one. Cause that's the most one I've learned as a developer. I've grown as a person. And it's, it's the most developed. Whereas you play the first game. I mean, I played the first, I played my first game on stream as a community challenge. And I'm like, man, I've come a long way nine years ago from making the first game and now making the third one. So it's a bit, it's. No, the first battle killed me. I couldn't power up because I couldn't win. Well, are you checking out my game project now? Or are you talking about Fantasy Star 1? Playing with the ads to sell it. Yeah, it happens every hour. And unfortunately, I don't see it going off because I'm playing full screen on my PC. So I can't snooze it and say, oh, ads about to go off. I probably, I need to like set a timer. I used to, I need to get my laptop back up here. That way I'm able to look at it. But that doesn't guarantee, hey, because on your stream manager, I think you got you guys know as well in your stream manager, it will say ads are about to start. It hit the snooze. And... <coughs> You know, I mean, I just don't think, especially when you're like, in, in, like really immersed in the game and you don't, I mean, I should set a timer or something like that for it. I'm not a fan of blunt color palette from MS Paint Colors and Monochromes, but I do like the designs. Uh, I've described my play sales palette too. High Rush. I've heard of High Rush. I actually got that on my wish list. The art style. What? Uh, well, you don't like the art style. I mean, that's. I mean, art style can be a, a deal breaker for some people. I know some people won't even touch Wind Waker because of its art style, which is a shame because Wind Waker is a phenomenal game. Uh, well, um, I can give you a couple of tools and tips. Like in the prologue, as the game states, uh, go ahead and examine the tombstone, get the three hundred gold. As the old man says in the, uh, the, the, the light spirit character says in the, first, uh, in the tower, stick to the roads and you won't get no encounters because I actually have a program. If you stay on the roads, there's no encounter. So you can safely get to town and get your first, uh, you know, first weapon or something like that. I designed my games kind of, my first game is especially geared towards kind of like Dragon Quest where you examine everything. Bump into every little nook and cranny, examine stuff you'll find like hidden golds and hidden items and, and stuff like that. It, it lessens as you play through the game, but as for the first game, I try to give as much as I possibly can. But if you deliberately avoid those, then yeah, it's going to be a little more harder on yourself. Like I said, once you get to this level two or level three, then it starts, it's, like I said, it starts panning out. It, it's rough around the edges in the beginning. I didn't know you were starting on my game retro perspective. Uh, if... If you start streaming it, just uh, let me know so I can uh, participate and uh, watch uh, watch on Hang On. Hey, little Kane. But that was World of Final Fantasy. I think I give the game a 7 out of 10 simply because it loses a point for... It loses a point for the, the two main characters. I just couldn't connect with them. They were just... Ugh. The experience to chill ratio could have been a lot better. I noticed when I was near the end of the game, I even pointed out on several streams that the goal, the chill just wasn't a lot. They don't give a lot of chill. They really don't. I hated that, and uh, I just I didn't like that. And, of course, one save slot for an RPG, I was like, I don't really, that's one reason why I haven't played Dragon Quest Nine yet for the DS. One save slot. I don't like RPGs with one save slot, especially if, 
if there's a point of no return or I'm, you know, I want to, you know, I, I didn't like this decision I made. I want to reload my old save. I can't do that. Oh, I must have, I must have been asleep. Oh, if you did it in the afternoon, I was asleep. I'm sorry I couldn't attend. Try buying the first weapon and it didn't help. I passed the meat challenge. Rough start. Yeah, it's a little rough start in the game. Um, I wish I was there to, to give you some senpai advice, but that is uh, the best of. If you didn't grab anything in the prologue town, I would just restart your save and just, you know, there's a couple things you can grab: an extra piece of equipment, extra money, and you should already have enough starting gold by the time you do that. And there's a couple things in the first town, the first main town, to do, to examine as well that gives you a couple items and stuff. And then killing the regular slimes to stay in the main. Green, uh, okay, good. A lot of people, I've actually had a lot of people say they missed out on that. So, that originally, originally I didn't have that. And I had some feedback saying, oh, you should give like a little bit extra more starting helping out for the player. I'm like, okay, that's fine. So, you should, I, uh, you should have enough gold to go buy yourself a new weapon. And as soon as you hit level two or three, you may have to only kill one or two enemies. Um, there is RNG too. Crits can come on in and just, you know, wipe the floor with you. And that's just... You know how RPG. That's sometimes RPG makers just a dick like that, which I, I've gotten killed myself from, from critical hits. Near term town. Yep, near the first parts. And yep, that's also in there too. But I would avoid the forest that's beside there because the game does warn that there's an NPC that does talk about harder enemies. Just stay around town. Get to level two. Get to at least level three. Then you can actually go to the first. Uh, the, the the cave of nooblets, as I call it, and then. You'll get a, uh, maybe a level or two off that and then get the item to proceed on with the story. And then by the time you hit level seven, um, <clears throat> you, you can go into Thieves Guild. But I would avoid the forest-like regions because in RPG Maker, you can program specific enemy sets to appear in certain spots. And I have tougher enemies that are programmed to, uh, uh, in those specific spots. And I don't, I don't know how many RPG Maker games you've played, but if the enemy gets the initiative first all the time, it's because you don't have enough agility or uh, a piece of equipment is uh, luring your agility. But if you're able to get the initiative then you, every time because you want to get the initiative, like the first turn, then it'll be uh, a lot easier. And the other little... Okay. I, I don't know how familiar you are with RPG Maker and some of its, some of its uh, shenanigans it can do. You're always at a disadvantage. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I, I, I believe yeah, that you're at a disadvantage. Yeah. Like I said, I designed my game to be a little on the tough on the tough side, but once you get a couple, in, once you get a couple levels, it it evens out. But like I said, I grew as a, I grew as a person as a developer when that because this game was made nine years ago, like when I was still learning combat balances and, and stuff like that. And like the first chapter is a little unbalanced. But once you get to chapter two or get mostly through the earth, it starts to balance itself out and becoming more manageable and a little, and a little bit easier. Even until I got, have more equipment. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because you want to have you want to be at least level seven before doing the uh, uh, thieves kill. Well, I'll try to keep an eye on you on your stream. I was if you streamed before five o'clock central time, then yeah, I was asleep. Uh, I didn't know you were streaming that today. Otherwise, I would have participated. I am very sorry I wasn't able to to attend your stream on that. I do apologize. <clears throat> 